Hello and welcome in this new episode of the Robin tutorial series. This is the fifth episode, if I'm not mistaken, and in this episode we are going to use what's probably the most interesting functionality about Robin, which is the budget allocator. So, uh, we are starting from exactly where we left ourselves in the latest episode. We are on the uh, uh, right after the Robin outputs part. As you can see in my console, there's still the, the outputs related to uh, to plotting the models and here we can see our folder with all the outputs inside. What we are going to do here is scroll down a little and we will get to this uh, piece of code which is not commented and let's get started with this. So this first line is actually used to print all the models ID inside the console directly. So I can go copy and paste and execute this and this is going to give us all the um, optimal uh, model that we can use for the budget allocation. As you can see here, we have a few more models than the ones that we have plotted because we asked uh, Robin to, to plot the list and actually uh, use clusters. So uh, those probably uh, are all the, the good model that Robin found besides uh, clustering them and even uh, giving us the, a small subset of them. So this all the IDs that we get out of this function are all the IDs that we can actually use in order to, um, to build our budget allocator. So uh, what we have to do after we, we print the solutions is actually select one of these. Let's take one that we have actually in our folder. So we can see the 1912.2 right here. I'm going to type here 1.912.2. To, and we are going to execute this line of code. As you can see here, guys, in, during the course, uh, I switched from pressing this button to copy and pasting in the console. It's really uh, the same. Well, uh, either way works to, to execute code. It's just uh, the way that you prefer. So um, this actually is just setting a variable that we call select model and we are passing the model ID. So in here, we will have our uh, selected model ID. And then there is the Robin save function. This is extremely um, useful, especially for when we are going to refresh our model, uh, because basically what it does is saving all the information about the specific model we have selected inside an object that, that can then be loaded back. So uh, even if we... Um, we close this R section, we're, we just shut down our computer and we want to, to get back from where we start, from where we left, sorry, uh, let's say a, a month later. Uh, the model that we saved here can be used to, to basically start from there and so build uh, the budget location, uh, refresh the model and everything. And this is, an op uh, this is actually something that you can do for multiple models at once. Only, only thing you have to, to keep in mind is that as you can see from the comments right here, uh, what we are passing to the Robin save function is the selected ID model, the input collect and the output collect, which are basically the two variables containing both the inputs and the outputs of the model. And then we are passing the Robin object. The Robin object, if you remember it, uh, is something that we set at the very beginning of the code, right over here. And it's basically the path where do we want Robin to uh, save our information. So uh, let's say we want to save two models. We can just swap this to uh, model one, uh, model one dot RDS, then save the model and then maybe make it model two and save again. I just leave it back to what we had and scrolling down again to the budget allocation part over uh, here, okay. So this is the Robin save function. We are going to execute this one to save up our uh, model and it says that the file already exists if I want to overwrite it. It exists because we have saved that file once we build the, um, the whole model in general. Now we are going to overwrite it with this specific model and I'm going to type in uh, C which is why uh, it's C for me because I'm using Italian um, as my language here, but you will probably have yes, no, or cancel. Uh, so just type in yes, so that the, um, that we save this model, and then we can get to the budget allocation part. The first thing to do is execute this line of code. So the output collect uh, aggregation, which is basically going to uh, do another 
check on our data and it's going to print out all the informations that build our model. So as you can see here, I have my page channels and it's going to show me the coefficients, what's the mean spend, so the average spend uh, that Robin calculated over time for this specific channel, uh, the average response and so on. And this is really um, uh, just for a, an additional check basically. What's really the, the part of the code that we want to use in this tutorial is the Robin Allocator function. The Robin Allocator function works in two different ways. We go over all the variables, the parameters that we can pass to the Robin Allocator function in a moment, but we want to focus on the scenario one first. And the scenario one is the one that defines in which way we want the allocator to work. And there are two options as of now, which is max historical response, and down here you can see the max response expected spend. Basically, what the uh, max historical response mean is what's the uh, most I can get in terms of revenue considering the average spend I have from the historical data that I passed to Robin. So without changing my spend, what's the most I can get to in, term of, in terms of revenue by uh, changing the allocation of the budget? Or on the other side, in case I have a specific budget I want to spend in a specific set of days, what I can go is for uh, the max response expected spend, and I can then specify to Robin, okay, look, I want to spend exactly $100,000 in the next seven days. And Robin is going to give me uh, an, an optimal budget allocation for that budget in that, kind, in that amount of days, basically, um, which of course can be uh, more or less than what I'm spending right now. But let's get back to the, to the first part and see what other par parameters we are passing to this Robin Allocator function. So we have our, our input and output collect with all the data needed for the models, as well as the select model, which is basically uh, the model ID we have selected earlier. The scenario keyword, and then there, there is the channel constraint low and constraint up. And this is really uh, important to understand because uh, imagine you are actually spending on five channels, just, uh, just as we are doing right now, and if we don't give any kind of constraints to Robin, what could up, happen potentially is that Robin could tell us, okay, look, just turn completely off two of your five channels and invest everything on the other three. And this may not be really uh, neither realistic, neither something that you can really um, put into action in, in your company, because maybe there are other things that you have to... To consider and care about. So uh, what you can do here is ask Robin to, of course, allocate your budget in the optimal way, but in, inside a certain constraints. So basically uh, 0 0.7 means, means don't go lower than 70% of my historical spend on the channel. And 1.2 is don't go ha over, so don't go higher than 120%. And this goes for all the, 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 media, the media spend channels that we have. In fact, here, the, the length of this list, as well as the position of the constraints, must be exactly the same as the ones that we define all the way up here in our paid media variables. So as you can see here, I have TV, out of home, print, Facebook, and search clicks, which are five. And down here, I'm doing exactly five. And this is TV, out of home, print, uh, search, and Facebook, or Facebook, and search, and I remember the right order now. But basically, uh, that's it. So we are telling, don't go lower than 70% of historical average spend for each channel, and don't go higher than 150 for these four channels, while don't go higher than 120 for, this other, uh, for the first channel. And this is something that you can change uh, however you like. Maybe you want to, to go for one so that Robin only suggests you to, to, to spend less, but not more, but that's not really um, a smart thing because maybe you are underspending on some channel and you want Robin to tell you, okay, invest more there. Uh, or maybe you want to, to give Robin more freedom so that you can go for larger kind of constraints. So we'll keep it as, as it is and just run this line of codes. And as you can see here, uh, it should take just a while. Uh, it's running the model, uh, the budget allocator for the model 1912, which is the one we have actually selected. 
and it's printing this new file which is the model ID underscore reallocated.png and if we go in the folder as you can see down here I actually have this reallocated uh, file which we are going to see together okay let me put this full screen okay so you uh, will have three main plots in this file and the first one is actually uh, the one telling you how to allocate your budget so here you see Robin is telling you just keep spending the total amount you are spending just keep it as it is so 0% increase uh, is like don't change anything you could have a, a negative number here maybe you are overspending everywhere Robin can tell you look it's better if you spend 5% less or maybe uh, Robin wants you to invest a little more and that can be another thing in general yeah Robin is telling okay from the general budget you are spending so across all channel the sum of everything you are spending is the same what you do however is if is if you change your allocation as shown here you will get a 10% increase from your revenue. One thing to note here is that Robin is not talking about the total revenue, but is talking only about the revenue attributed to these media channels. So if we sum, if we are, let's say, doing a uh, $1,000 a day, uh, Robin here doesn't count the whole $1,000, but only, for instance, the $600 that are that are attributed to our media spent channels. So only the marketing attributed the revenue is considered here. Robin is telling us, look, don't change your total budget, your total marketing budget, just reallocate it. And the marketing channels are going to drive you a 10% increase in terms of marketing driven revenue. This said, we can go over to the first plot. And the first plot is actually really simple to read. Over here, you have all your media spend channels. And as you can see here, in light blue, we have the initial spend share. So this is actually what we are spending right now. We are spending 33% on out of home. We are spending 6% uh, on search clicks, which is basically Google uh, or Bing is search in general. And then 17.45 on Facebook. The blue, the dark blue one, is basically telling us how to properly allocate the budget over here. So it's saying, look, you are probably overspending on both uh, out of home and Facebook, which is something that it's we already saw in the one pager model, if you remember from the previous episode. And it's actually telling lower the budget from 33 to 24 and from 17 to 12 percent, and then spread those uh, those additional budget that we have removed from there across these other channels in this way. So add a 7% over here, a 3% over here, and so on. One thing, one thing you have to keep in mind is that whenever you go and change the percentage of budget allocated, this is always related to the total budget. So if you go on, uh, for instance, Google Ads and set it to lower the budget by 15% from tomorrow, that's not going to be the same as if Robin tells you to lower the budget by 15% because Google Ads can only see its own budget. So it's going to reduce the budget by 15% of what you are actually spending on Google Ads. If Robin tells you to reduce the 15% your budget, it's the 15% based on your whole media spend. So you have to actually uh, sum everything you are spending and then calculate the percentages from there and so that you can uh, properly reallocate your budget. So this is what happens if you, uh, so not sorry, this is what Robin suggests you to do in terms of budget allocation. And then it shows you, okay, look, if you do um, these changes in your budget allocation, this is what's going to happen. So you are going to, to drive more sales on TV, more sales on clicks, more sales on print, and you are going to lose just a little on out of home over here. And you're actually going to zero on Facebook, which is interesting, but what's, here that what could be happening here is maybe Facebook is converting uh, a couple days after for instance and so we are seeing zero here but maybe the the ad stock effect gets activated a couple days after so we are actually uh, still drawing sales from Facebook just not in the in the short time so this is something that you have to take in consideration when uh, when you see this kind of um, this kind of allocations and 
and basically it tells you exactly now this search clicks channel is driving you forty three thousand uh, dollars if you do this change so you add a three percent you are going to increment the the sales driven by search to up to fifty five thousand and so on for all the other channels and then the last part down here let me zoom out a little bit this is exactly the same graph the same plot that we saw in the one pager showing the response curves what happens here is that robin shows us exactly for each channel for each channel's response curve where we are spending with the with the dot you see here initial and where we should be with the triangle which is which is basically the optimized spend so um, as you can see here, for instance, the optimizer is going back down on the, on the line. That's probably uh, that, that that's probably a bug. You know, you know, this triangle should be up here. And the same goes for um, for the out of home, which is the other channel that Robin suggested us to uh, underspend a little. And then, as you can see on the others, the optimized spend is a little higher. This is something that we said in the previous video as well. As you can see, the saturation point starts really flattening the curve right, right here so we are clearly over underspending on print sorry and that's in fact um, something that Robin noticed as well and actually uh, suggested us to uh, to go this way so this is pretty much everything you need to know about Robin budget allocation one thing that you may have to keep in mind because this may happen to you whenever you run Robin on your real data is that Robin may assign a zero impact of on some channels so imagine you are uh, you are having five channels and robin says look you are the facebook is not driving any kind of sales so robin may suggest you to actually shut down a channel potentially and in case you get to the um, to the budget allocation part uh, you may see some sort of percentages that don't sum up to 100 especially in the initial part because usually what happens here is that you will have the optimized percentages that sum up to 100, but the initial percentages that sum up to less than 100. And what happens, and you have to, to consider that whenever you will uh, find a, um, in a situation like that, is that the, the part that you are not finding in the initial is actually what you are spending on the channel that Robin turned off. So whenever you have this missing part of budgets here, uh, keep in mind that it may be because Robin turned off a channel and you are and it's basically not considering what you are spending on the channel as your initial share. Uh, so just keep in mind that and uh, use the the budget on the turned off channel to uh, spread ev evenly on the others as Robin is suggesting you. So this is all for this video. This is something, uh, one, one thing before closing up, this is something that you can do, the budget allocation, you can do it for, uh, for several models. So let's say uh, we want to see what other models we have here. We have the, oops, sorry. Uh, let's go this way. It's probably going to be easier. Okay. Uh, so maybe we want the budget allocation for this one model. We can just change it here rerun this part go and overwrite and then once it's done we are going to allocate the budget and as you can see i can do the budget allocation for several different models so let's say i have two or three models which i can't really um, decide in between I can run the budget allocation on all of them and get an idea of how it changes the budget allocation based on the model I've chosen. So uh, I will have my, my model over here, which is going to be the 2022. And that's basically uh, it. As you can see here, the budget allocation for the 5 and 072 model, which is going to be a little different, clearly. Uh, but it's another thing that you can try and test out and see what works best for your business for your specific case so thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, in the next one we are going to see another very cool functionality about robin which is the uh, robin refresh of the model so um, thank you so much i hope 
you you'll find this tutorial useful and see you in the next one bye